Hey, what's happening, guys? A kind viewer of the channel, Michael W. Picked something out of my wish list and sent it. It's the Raspberry Pi 4. Model B, 2 gig of RAM. So this is the latest Raspberry Pi. And I thought, you know, you and I could sit down and take a look at it. And uh, put it together and see what's up with it. Now, on your first cursory glance, it looks a lot like the previous versions of Raspberry Pi, but it is quite different. I mean, if we start with the processor, this one is using the Broadcom BCM2711. The old Pi 3B Plus used the BCM2837B0, blah, blah, blah. This one's marginally faster. Uh, video core, this one uses the Video Core 6 at 500 megahertz. The old one used the Video Core 4, I think it was like two or 300 megahertz. Now this one comes with one, two, or four gigabytes of RAM. This is the two gigabyte model. The old Raspberry Pi 3, you only got one gig of RAM. The old Raspberry Pi had four USB 2.0 ports. This one has two USB 2.0 and two USB 3.0 and a USB-C port which is used for the power. Now here's where things really get different. The Pi 3 used a single HDMI port. The Pi 4 uses two micro HDMI ports and it can run them simultaneously very nicely at 4K, so I'm told. Now, as for our internet or uh, Ethernet or just regular network connectivity, we've got 802.11 AC, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet. And the Ethernet is true gigabit Ethernet on this one. The old one was not. So it's an incremental improvement from the original, but you can't use any of your original cases because they've made things a little different here and it's not going to work. So I downloaded the latest uh, software for it, which is uh, Stretch. And I should go in there. Yeah, no. Let's uh, get keyboard. and mouse we got a couple of uh, heat sinks here and get them out of the package Hopefully we can figure out where they all go. I assume that goes for the system on a chip. For the OCD afflicted among us, I will put the fins all facing the same direction. And for those who are truly afflicted by OCD, they will be lined up in the same direction as the GPIO pins. Because I'm not all that cool. Man, hard to get my big old fingers in there. Oh, God. Come on. Need some assistance here. Go. What about this little guy? There. You know, as soon as it goes there. I'm just assuming that because it looks like it fits there.
So let's take a closer look here before we put it all together. We've got our system on a chip. We've got our RAM, DDR4 RAM. There's our Wi-Fi. Got a camera header. We got our audio, our two micro USB. There's our power supply system. What's this little header here? Run global enable. Interesting. It came with this nice little pie switch. So, if I can find the correct connector for it, I added the SD card. Copied everything back on here. Now, if I could just get it to go in. So here we go. Bring up our screen. And we'll see what happens this time. No activity. What the heck am I doing wrong? Try a... Aha! Wrong one report. Okay. Raspbian. English. Install. All right, I'll be back once it's installed. Okay, that took about 20 minutes. Now we can reboot her and uh, set it up, I think. <laughs> I hope. There's our four cores. Well, that booted like in a couple of seconds. That's amazing. Okay, let's get her set up. United States. American English, time zone, probably like New York. All right, I'll go through this. You guys don't have to watch this part. Okay, next we'll do the software update. network connection found. One moment. Yeah, we're connected to Wi-Fi. I don't know why it wouldn't uh, do the update. Anyway, let's restart. And I'll show you how fast this thing reboots. And flash for our course. <laughs> Watch it take 10 minutes this time just to prove me wrong, right? Yep. 
There's our cores. And into the desktop. About a minute. Not too bad at all. Let's see if I can figure out how to get the update going again. All right, it has been a while. I am not a Linux guy, but I think I remember it. Sudo apt get update, right? Sudo, in case you don't know, is super user do. apt hyphen get update. Invalid. Operation that that says. Hmm. I believe I just spelled it wrong. Try again here. It will focus. All right, let's try it again. Pseudo apt. with an E. There we go. Oopsies, hold on. Alright, next one. Pseudo apt get upgrade. Do I want to continue? Oh, sure, why not? Let's see how long this one takes. You know, just a quick update. That's been going on for about five minutes so far. Now, here you go. Four minutes, 13 seconds. So, we're up to about 12 minutes now. Let's see, uh... You see what kind of temperature we're getting off the uh, main processor there. Let that sit there for a minute. Think about it. We're uh, surpassing about 30 degrees C or almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit. That's not too bad. Let's see about the uh, the Wi-Fi chip. What kind of temperature we're getting there? It seems about the same. Interesting. Well, after about a half an hour, I think it's uh, finishing up there. At least I hope that's what's happening. <laughs> that's been going on a while. So the next question is what to do with the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm not really into programming. More of a hardware guy. Of course, you guys know that. With this little dual monitor thing, it might be a might be a cool setup to put out there in the radio room. It would definitely uh, free up a lot of room for me. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Maybe I'll do that. What do you guys think? Give me some ideas. What you think I could do with it? Right. Well, ten minutes later, and it's still doing its thing, but uh. There must be a lot going on there with that upgrade. Well, like I was doing anything anyway. Let's look over there and see the clock. It's 5.30 in the morning. Sleep has once again eluded me. So, are we finally done? Do I get my pie back? Yes. The 
Pi is back. Let's uh let's bring in the phone here. We'll do a stopwatch. Ready? How long should it take to get back to the desktop? What did we say before? About a minute? We're coming up on a half a minute. Boom. Desktop in about 41 seconds. Not too shabby. Let's see how it handles video. Alright. Let's see what we got here. We'll also find out if it has uh, HDMI audio. There's this little HDMI screen that I'm using here. It does have speakers. Which I cannot separate with one hand. <laughs> there we go. All right. How about this one? Yes, it does have HDMI audio. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Turn the volume all the way up here. seems to handle it quite well so very nice the Raspberry Pi 4 come a long way since the original in everything except the price you can still get the one gigabyte version of this for 35 bucks just like the original Raspberry Pi so good job Raspberry Pi Foundation you've kept the board, the computer, reachable in price, but definitely have improved the quality and the speed. Very cool. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. That too would be very cool. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to Michael for sending me the pie. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. That's it. I'm out. Peace.